So my name is Gunter Bauer. I'm company representative of ZF here in the Eclipse Foundation. I also welcome all of you. And I will talk to you some words about key principles of our software defined vehicle working group. So if we look here on our um, content that we want to deliver, the software defined vehicle has three different components that we want to develop. On the one hand, we have the SDV Edge. That's the part in the vehicle where we run our um, embedded software in the vehicle. Here we have components like operating system, middleware, or also um, applications on top of that. Besides that, we certainly have a connected vehicle. That means we have also a cloud portion. That's the SDV Ops where we have our business logic and we have vehicle management system, update management system, and core services that we want to provide to the vehicles. And last but not least, to build that all, we have the SDV Dev, that's the development platform, the ecosystem, which we want to develop here in order to give you all the best uh, developer experience also in the future. And I think this is a big, big story that we want to tackle here with these three components. And we have certainly also here some, some challenges that we, we have on our journey. But yeah, when we started three months ago, I think nobody thought about that we have here this contribution day with more than 400 participants. And I think that's a great success story and it shows that this is the right topic and it's certainly also the right time to start this because as we already said, um, no one will do that on his own. We have to collaborate. So if we look here on the development model, then we have the classical approach on the left side. Typically, we have a specification, then we come to architecture and then to code. That's the old style of development, but this, this will not last in the future. We have to come to an agile approach. That means we want to develop here code-centric. That means we have the code-first approach, which iterates between specification architecture and code. In our working group, we will not be consensus driven. That means we will here also have different approaches on one topic and then we can see what is the best way and we have here certainly also competition. That means we have not one single SDV stack, there will be multiple solutions. We have, will build distributions, that means it will be easy to use and easy to install. But what is also important, there will be gaps and we need to look also for the gaps that we close, the gaps between the existing components. And I think that's also a task. We can start today with our contribution day that we discuss, okay, now we have these seven projects, but what is missing? Now here are some governance principles. Code first, I already discussed. But what is very important is this active participation. The open source community will come successful if all take part in it and look for the, for the missing components and how we can put pieces and puzzles to, in the puzzle together. We are very transparent. That means also from, from the steering committee, we are, we are uh, distributing our protocols and so on. We are open, that means if you have any ideas or suggestions, please contact us in the steering committee, then we will also give you here the right audience for, for your proposals. And what is also important is this vendor neutrality, that means we are not developing a solution that is locked into one vendor. So if we are looking here on the memberships, then we have here as of 27th of June, 19 participants. I think that's a good, good starting point, but you are certainly also welcome to join the SDV working group. Um, I think Michael can help you here if you have questions on the membership. But I think we can see we have here tier ones, we have tier twos, and we have also OEMs like Carriot here. So I think it's a good starting point, but we certainly want to increase here the members also in future. Next slide, please. Yeah, here on this slide, I think I will not read it for you. 
Here you can see some, some, uh, some documents, and I think you can inform you on the documents. Uh, we are also on Slack, for example, or we have a web, uh, mailing list or a website, but I think it is easy to get in contact with us. Yeah, here on this slide you can see um, projects and working groups. That's a bit what Stephen already mentioned. The project is the working base or the powerhouse of our uh, community because we here, here are the projects and they build the code and they develop the software-defined vehicle ecosystem that we want to bring forward. But to facilitate that, we have the working groups with this, this different uh, committees, for example, the steering committee, which focus and promote the contents that we want to bring forward. And here we have a very open governance, and I think that's a great opportunity here with Eclipse together to bring that with a clear governance forward. And here you can see also some resources on projects. I think that's important for you if you think about that you also want to start an Eclipse project. That's possible to everyone. That means you don't need to be participant for starting an Eclipse project. And you are all welcome here to put forward your ideas. And I think with this event we have here a first starting point. And we really appreciate if you also come with your ideas and minds forward. Yeah, that's a short summary from my side. Thank you very much for, for your attendance, and if there are questions, we can answer that.